Hi there, we're going to talk about using InDesign's Table of Contents feature to make an interactive table of contents for an on-screen PDF. I have a uh, single InDesign document here and I'm going to take my type tool, I'm going to click on the little uh, title here, it says Getting Started with InDesign and I've uh, included a paragraph style that I've applied to that called Chapter Title and I want to include that in my Table of Contents. I have a series of numbered topics here, number one, the welcome screen, and I'm going to click in that, and I've applied a, uh, what's called a head one style I created for that. And I want to include all those numbered topics in my uh, table of contents also. So to generate a table of contents, it's really easy. I just go up to layout, I come down to the table of contents. Up here at the top, I'm going to include the word contents. I'm going to apply a paragraph style to it so it just formats it up and looks nice. And here on the left-hand side, it says, which paragraph styles do you want me to include to pull the text to build the table of contents? Well, we know that the chapter title is the first one that we want, so I'm just going to add that. And remember, the second one was a series of numbered topics, and that was going to be called Head 1. So we'll add those. Then, to format up the table of contents, I'll pick chapter title, and I'm going to apply a style I built for that specifically. When it goes into the table of contents, it's going to be called TOC chapter title. Then I'm going to click head one, and I have a specific style for that that I want to format. It's going to be um, a TOC style I've made up ahead of time, and it's actually called section name. The key thing is down here in Options, uh, Create PDF Bookmarks. That's what's going to generate my interactive bookmarks when I export this out as a PDF. So with all this in place, I'm just going to click OK. It generates a text file here, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my first page of my document here. And I'm going to come over and I'm going to uh, turn on my normal view so you can see there's a text frame here and I'm going to drop this into that text frame. So now you can see it generated my table of contents, it formatted up with the leader dots and so on and again those were pre-made up so I could apply them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to export out this file as a PDF. So I'm going to come down to Adobe PDF presets, I'm going to pick high quality print and I'm going to save this to my desktop called Getting Started and in here I'm going to make sure I embed page thumbnails so I have that available to me in Acrobat and also I'm going to view this when I'm done and here's the key include bookmarks so now it's going to take that table of contents that it generated it's going to turn those into electronic bookmarks so I can use this in Acrobat on screen I'm going to export it and it should be in a few seconds it should open up in Acrobat so we can take a look at it. And here it comes. So we see our nice print page with the table of contents. But now what I can do is I can go to the upper left over here on Reader or Acrobat Pro. And the first thing if I pick pages because I told it to include the thumbnails, you have the thumbnails and the users can double click on these. Alright. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to collapse pages. I'm going to come down here to bookmarks. And the beautiful thing is it used my table of contents and now when I double click on any of these they take me right to those specific items in my document. So that builds me an interactive electronic table of contents automatically when I build the table of contents in InDesign. So again the key is to use those paragraph styles back in InDesign uh, and apply them judiciously to specific things, include them in the table of contents, make sure it generates the PDF bookmarks, export it, and you have this. This is also a topic that we talk about in our Level 2 in Design class. Thank you.